first off, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, look, the, the uh, let me just start off that, you know, I, I do understand, right, that, I mean, it's really, for the fans, it's about winning and losing. Um, and we haven't been doing much winning. The, uh, and so there's a, a real big frustration level there. And uh, um, so, you know, we get it. The, uh, I don't like losing either. Right? The, uh, in fact, I probably like it less than almost anybody. Um, you want to go right into the incident, it's pretty easy. I mean, the, the, uh, um, you know, it appears that the, uh, uh, this gentleman and his friends, right, planned to do this, mm -hmm. right? The, uh, that they, um, <clears throat> just before the game, they cleared their profiles out. Right, the uh, we have video which I think we've supplied to you, mm -hmm. which shows them moving from one side of the arena to the other and pointing at me and the you way know, you were walking out. where I was walking, right, and saying you know the, the uh, and you know to set this ambush up and uh, the, um, and they did and you know and then as soon as uh, they were done with it, it was immediately sold to uh, TMZ. The, um, so the uh, um, but you know I mean look. Not for nothing, but, uh, you know, I shouldn't have taken the bait. You right. walked right into it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will say, you know, we had just lost again, right? Yeah. The, the, uh, and, you know, and I'm, you know, believe it or not, I get very frustrated with it, too. Especially games where, you know, I mean, we have a young team. The, the, uh, they're, they're developing. They're getting better. They put their heart into the game. The, the, uh, and a lot of times, you know, they'll be ahead for a good for a part of the game. They'll make it close at the end, right? And then we don't close it out. And it's, you know, you just, you know, you want to leave, you want to leave a winner. But, um, here's, here's the question, though. No, nobody likes to have anything nasty yelled at them. They don't. I mean, no, no matter who you are. Right. That being said, you're probably hearing a lot of it. The team has been bad for a while. Yeah, I don't, look, I don't mind the, the, the uh, you know, I don't mind the, uh, you know, the the you know you hear all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. right the the uh, what I, what is a problem is when someone becomes confrontational mm -hmm. right the the uh, um, you know and these people clearly were there for a confrontation. Here's my big concern. We're talking with Jim Dolan, the owner of the Knicks, Rangers, and MSG. What happened on Saturday has not been portrayed positively around this country. I mean, TMZ put it out. It, it doesn't look good. It's not a good optic. Do you think that's going to affect you getting guys like Kevin Durant or, or, or Kyrie Irving that they're going to say, this place is kind of dysfunctional? I mean, they've lost more games than any team in basketball for 18 years. You, I mean, you've got two max slots that you want to give to somebody, and then something like that comes out. Does it concern you that it will impact whether people want to come here or not? No. Look, you know, New York, look, <laughs> New York is the mecca of basketball, right? And we hear from people all the time, right? From players, from, you know, representatives. It's about who wants to come. Mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, we can't respond because of the NBA rules, et cetera. But that doesn't stop them from telling us. Right. The, the, and they do. The, the, uh, and I can tell you from what we've heard, I think we're going to have a very successful offseason when it comes to free agents. The, the, uh, and, uh, you know, the thing about the team now is that, you know, it's, all, it's very young. It's the youngest team in the NBA, right? The, uh, and you take a look at, at some of the players that we have, and they won't be the, you know, the centerpiece of the team. Mm -hmm. But as compliments to the centerpieces of the team, right, we're developing them right now. You have to think players here worse than sell the team, though. I mean, I mean look what happened to Russell Westbrook. It wasn't anything physical, Jim. I mean, he just said sell the well, team. You have to, is, that what your, is that what your bar is, something physical? No, that's not the bar. Look, guys, let me explain something to you. The, 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 the garden, right, is a place we want everybody to have fun. Right, we want everybody to enjoy being there. Right, mm -hmm. if you have somebody who comes in who plans on ha on on making you know a scene and being confrontational, et cetera, and ruining the event for other people, including the owner, right? The the uh, you can't come back. I'm sorry. Right, the, you're there to enjoy the game. You're not you're not there to ruin everybody else's experience. But the, the, when you're driving home that day. I mean, there were so many ways you could have diffused it. Hey, sell the team. What, what do you, what's your offer? 
or something like that or just laughed it off. I mean, if you had a do-over, is that what you do? Even if they planned... Yeah, I wouldn't I'm have taken the bait, right. I mean, the... the, the uh, and, you know, the... Um, you know, I mean, look, I mean, the, 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 like I said, I'm passionate about the mm -hmm. team, too. And, right, you, I'm walking out of, out of a loss, right, and you're, and you're, you know, you're in my face about this, right? The, the uh, you know, um, saying quit, right. basically, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, well, you're right. But, I, 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 lost, I lost my temper, but the, the uh, you know, and I actually didn't really lose my temper. I just sort of, like, went, really? I mean, right. you know, I mean, really? We knew we didn't have Porzingis because he was injured, right? So the the uh, we knew we weren't going to be uh, be that successful this does, season. Does it concern you, Jim, that he didn't want to be here? I mean, that was one of the reasons Steve said they wanted he didn't want to be here. What, I mean, I don't want to talk for him. Okay. Right? The the uh, you know he has to explain or or not. It's up to him, mm -hmm. right? About why he didn't want to be here, right? The the I thought our guys tried really hard. Right to you know to integrate him into the into the organization right to to make him feel welcome, et cetera. I mean, Fizdale took the trip out there. Right, Fizdale even went out to to see him, et cetera. Right, the the uh, you know I, like I said, I don't want to put words into his mouth. So for whatever reason, but when he came in and said to us, right, I don't want to be here. Right, I'm going to leave as soon at the first chance that I get. Right, and I want to be traded. Right. I mean, that sort of cast the die on what we had to do. And I think the guys did, a, you know, that Steven Scott did a great job, right, turning that position, right, the, uh, into something that, you know, we can, we can build on. I've always wanted to ask you this with the Phil Jackson stuff. If you're going to fire him 10 days after taking the Laquina, why'd you let him make the pick? <sighs> Look... I have a lot of respect for Phil, mm -hmm. um, and the, the uh, and people told me to stay out, so I stayed out. I stayed out as long as I could, mm -hmm. right? And that was ten days after Nilakina. Right. <laughs> the, the, so in retrospect, if you could have done it, you would have done it eleven days earlier. Well, I, you know, I think you know we don't know how good Frank's going to be, right? The the uh, and who else would they have chosen? Right? I don't have that information. Right? There are also rumors that he wanted to trade Porzingis, and you didn't want to. He did. Would it have been a better deal than the one you guys eventually made? No. <laughs> it wouldn't have been. No. I mean, look, Phil didn't get along with, with uh, KP and his brother. Right. And, they, uh, and that was clearly heading in a, in a very bad direction. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they, not that Phil was wrong. Phil wanted, I think, them to, you know, Phil grew up in a time and, and played basketball in a time when the players, right, all, no matter what, stuck together and no matter what, right, followed the coach. Right, the, the the times are different now. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, but that's where you know. But Jim, doesn't it run contrary though? You, you said you wanted to stay out, and you told him you didn't want him to trade Porzingis. How come you didn't let him trade Porzingis? <sighs> because no, I didn't not let him trade Porzingis. I know I asked the asked for his resignation. Oh, it's okay. a little bit different. Okay, so that was after the Nilakina pick. Yeah. Okay. Right. The, the uh, you know I mean because. You know, it clearly wasn't working, right? And, and looked like it was, you know, digging us a hole that was even deeper than we were in before. And, you know, I mean, look, Phil tried very hard. He really wanted to be successful in New York, right? The, the, he believed in in uh, the triangle system. He believed in what he was doing. The, the, uh, um, but it wasn't working. And like I said, I stayed out of it right up until, you know, the... the so I couldn't anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Does it worry you, though, Jim, that three times LeBron James has been a free agent, never considered the Knicks once? You know, I mean, I saw LeBron way back when, right? The, the, I don't know why he didn't want the, the New York, but he clearly, you know, was not interested in, in playing in New York, I think, ever, right? The, the uh, um, you know, for whatever reason, I can't read his mind, right? The, the, uh, um, when we went and did the presentation to him back when well, I was like seven or eight This years. was the Donnie Walsh years. Yeah, the Donnie right. Walsh years, right. I mean, you know, he was not engaged at all, mm -hmm. right. The, uh, um, and I, I guess really what was going on is he had already made up his mind to, you know, to go, go to, to Miami, Miami right? right. And uh, so he was sort of going through the motions. The, the, uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, look, not everybody is going to want to come here, but I think, you know, Particularly looking at this free agent class, I think we'll do very well. But you know what? Time will tell, won't it? 
Right. I mean, I mean we, we, what would really be helpful is if we got a ping pong ball to fall for us. Right. Yeah. Or a frozen envelope. Well, right now you're looking at four, a 14% <laughs> chance. Yeah. Yeah. Right.